Hi. With this movie we will show you how to create master detail relationship using DMX Zone Server Connect and DMX Zone App Connect. We are going to create two HTML tables, one for orders and the other showing the items for the selected order. First, let's create two action files. We call the first one orders all. We will use it to populate the master table. Inside it, we create a database connection and a database query which returns all of the orders. From our previous tutorials, you already know how to set up these, so we won't show this again. Save your server action when you are done. And then create a new action for the details table. We call the server action order details. Expand globals and under get add a new variable. Let's call it ID as we will use it to filter the details table by order ID. Add a database connection and a query. And set up the query options. We add the order details table to the query and then open the filters tab. We want to filter the details table by the ID of the order selected in the master table. So we add the order ID column to the filters list. And then we bind the get variable which we created as a value for the filter. Click OK. And save the server action. Then open the App Connect tab and add App Connect to the page. The first thing we do in App Connect panel is to add a variable. This variable will be used to send value to the get variable, which we are using to filter the details table. Let's call it ID. And then we add a server connect component. This is the server connect component that will be used to populate the master table. We call it orders. And then, we select the All Orders Server action. Then, we add another Server Connect component. This time for the Order Details table. We call it Details, and then we select the Order Details Server action. The Details Server action has a Get variable, which filters it. Let's bind the value of the ID variable which we created in App Connect panel as a value for the get variable. Under variable, select value. Now, whenever the variable value changes, the details action will be filtered. Let's add the two tables on our page. The fastest and easiest way to create the two data tables is to use the Bootstrap 3 table generator. Select the data for the master table and click OK when you are done. Do the same for the detail table selecting the details data source. Now let's connect the two tables. Select the table row of the master table and add dynamic event. Under mouse, select click and click the action picker button. Under variable, select set value and then select a dynamic value. Select the binding which you want to use to filter the detail table. We select the order ID. Now, when a table row is clicked, the value of app connect variable will be changed and this will filter the detail table. We'd like to show the detail table only when a row is clicked in the master table. Select the detail table and add dynamic attribute. Under display, select show and click the dynamic data picker to select one to show the detail table. Under variable, select value. This way, the detail table will be displayed only when the variable has a value, that is when a row is clicked in the master table 
And we are done. Let's preview the results. To ruin the master table, in order to see the details related to it. That's how easy it is, to create master detail relationship with AppConnect.